I won't be taking any trade until unless if I'm not telling you if I'm marking that doesn't mean that I'm taking up the trade. We'll observe the market. We'll see what can be done, what cannot be done. We'll not take the trade blindly. Because you see over overall over here, the market has opened up, gone up above two percentage. We'll go for BATA for 0 0.5 percent is risk at uh, 0 0.1823 price. 0 0.5 percentage risk. One minute. Yes, we can go. You can put a buying order at uh, around 22. I'm telling you 0 0.5 percent is risk. That means that if you have 10,000, risk is 50 rupees. You should be going for only stop loss is 24. So two to three quantity, not more than that. The stop loss kept is at 17.97. Target which we are going to keep is 18.57 around. You can go with ACC as well at 67 price. How many of you had got Bata India? Around 23, how many of you have got it? See, when I'm telling you to go for Bata India at the price, you have to go with that price only. 23, I had told around 23, 24, okay? If you are going with any other price, Okay, if you are going with any other price, you have to reduce your quantity. Just wait for the target to achieve. Those who want to exit few quantities at this point of time, because we have got approximately 12 rupees over here. So if you see around 7% target can be exited on a safer end if you want to play. If we see, market has already given a 2.7 percentage and from here, we are looking for more 1.5 percentage. Pretty difficult. Let's see how the market reacts to it. First target will keep at 83. If it is, chances are there that market will be taking kind of resistance from you already told you that those who want to book for, uh, some profit you can book it up at this point of time so do not forget that we'll try it because this is not a mark normal market situation this is kind of a volatile market. 
so better go with the risk management following not try to book that holding whole quantity and booking it everything try to be a clever person just hold your trades nothing else set up the target those who have got it 1855 around 1855 to 56 in between set it up the target everything no matter whatever happens and trail your stop loss to cost to cost because we from here even if the market is reversing we should not be losing money simple thing because it has already given us around 14 points where our target we are looking for around 34 okay so maximum what we it has given is approximately 14 points it has given so one is to one like half target we have got it so either you can choose to exit some quantity or hold the another one for the next target when the market is behaving like this okay this is not a normal market as i told so you can do that as well now the only thing is that either market is already given you movement so it might if you see yesterday also said the same thing market has already opened with a gap down it went in range for some time and then it started falling if it goes in range we know what do we have to do we don't we cannot take it uh, long for longer period of time so it'll be exiting the trade if it goes in range because any one news can come up and it will be like chalo it will start falling then and many people would have lost good amount of money today also because they might be thinking that bank nifty or nifty 50 will be again opening with gap down and they'll make good money and that would have backfired them so never carry forward your position unnecessarily if it is not protected so it is taking support uh, resistance from currently previous day high what it had made my target is below r2 and the day high it has not day high particularly this r2 which this gap up okay which we have okay for bata india trade i have taken a market open with a gap up i needed a confirmation all the market is going upside so small pullback this candle pullback i went for the trade same goes with the acc also i waited for two three candles then uh, i entered first target i'm keeping it over here because market can reverse from here okay what i believe that market will be going in range for some time and then it can give you some breakout so if it is whatever it is happening we will just act accordingly not with the emotions Those who want to exit at first target can exit. It was near to the first target. Wait for a while. It will. It can come once again. That is the reason I was telling you to exit at first quantity. Sorry, uh, first target, because market can reverse from any point of time so it is at cost to cost if this level gets broken basically hard one we can get the target quickly but until unless if it is not breaking it up there is we have to wait one thing I want to tell you, if I'm telling you do, to do something, please make sure that you're doing in the live trading. If I'm telling you to exit at first target, that means you have to exit at first target. Do not run behind the number of profits. Okay? 
try to follow risk management if you want to be in the longer term. Okay. Understand whatever I'm telling in the live market, it's all risk management. It is going to reduce your risk, okay, which is going to save your capital. If you'll behave like that, you need money, money, then it is not going to come. Bata anyway will be exiting now. It's been 40 minutes now. The, uh, I'm not planning it to, uh, there is no point. If it is breaking it up, then we can go for it. If it is not breaking, then how can we hold the trade? And anyway, if you see the market has been, it can go for the target, it can give the target, it can come down, anything can happen at any point of time. But uh, you can exit it. Now it has been, it has gone in the range. And as a beginner, you should not be holding. And that too, in this kind of market situation, we could have holded it was, if it was a normal market. But in this market, uh, I won't really recommend you to hold unnecessary risk you'll be taking it up let's exit at the profit uh, maximum profit which will come around 34 35 okay not now wait for a while see whatever i'm telling you in the live class class that is going to benefit you and if you want to trade in longer terms for a longer period of time you need to understand few things that Every day, we cannot make profit. We have to follow risk management, especially we could. We have to follow in this market situation. We cannot take risk. Okay. As a beginner, you should avoid the trading in these kind of market situation when you're not able to figure out anything. But if you're trading, follow risk management every time. Exit Bata only when I'm saying you to exit or else if you have already exited, that's fine. Exit at the maximum price which can come up. Nifty 50 is also moving up. Now again, ACC has come up at this level where you should be exiting. If you have not exited half quantity, you should. Around 79, you can exit half quantity. Bata India, you can exit now. Bata India, we have got approximately 12 rupees only per share. We are not holding it more because it has gone in pretty well good range it has formed. Because of that, we have exited. And we are not holding it because it may give us a breakout any point of time which can backfire us. If it is in our favor, then you might feel good. But looking at this situation, we cannot hold more, more than that. In these kind of market situation, when the market has already moved a lot, we cannot expect really good targets. Because if you see in one minute time frame, what is happening, it has been in the range. How many of you are still holding ACC? How many of you have actually exited full quantity of ACC? That should be the question. Price reversed before order exited half me. 
you have the opportunity to exit half pointed at 79 now. Exit at full. Should we exit full? See, those who does not want to risk and like completely fine, then you can exit. I do not want you to feel like, uh, let's say, I want to talk about both the situation. Market can particularly reverse from here as well. It can come down. So if it is coming down, we have to exit at some minimal profit or minimal cost. We have to exit. Those who want to book your profit at this price, you can book it out. That's your choice because you have made the money. And if you want to safeguard that, you can book your profit. I wouldn't say that key. That's my suggestion that if you want to be in the longer terms, then you should be holding because this is how you're going to get the experience. If we get some insights that your market will not be moving in this situation, let's say if the, from next 10, 15 minutes, if market is not breaking this particular level, then even we'll exit full quantity. Okay. So we just need to wait for another, some more time to take up any kind of decision. Because what is going to happen is patience is what, whether you are going to make money, profit or loss, that is different. But you'll be learning from here that how to hold the trades, particularly if you have been trading, if you want to get this habit of holding the trade, that if you remember the last class, which I was speaking about the patience, watching the market, not taking up any kind of trade. Let's exit all the trades because there is a news coming up again for the war. And uh, I do not want to take up any more risk regarding the same thing. That can affect the price and profit which we have. So exit at 82 around. Not a ideal time to hold the trades. The reason why I'm exiting all my trades because of the war news again, some news has been coming up. Any point of time that can affect, and I don't know. And right now, if you see, it has not been giving us a breakout also. And because over here, if you see why there is a, there was a market was in range at some point of time. So it's better to book the profit and exit the trade rather than holding it. See, from here, there will be chances that it can go upside. It can come down. Okay. Because it is just left with around 18 points now. Okay. If this breaks... If this level is crossed, it can come up. Okay, there are chances. But the point over here is that I don't want you to risk a lot during these kind of situations. If this was a normal day, we could have done it. But at any point of time, any news can come up and which can impact this thing with whatever the profit we have made. All the things which you're seeing is in good profit. So it can impact that. So in order to do avoid all these things, we should be exiting our trades and not holding it unnecessarily. Will the current changes will be observed as event? Yes. Can we look for selling at this time? Only if we are getting opportunity then. So today we trade in real. I traded, I traded, I taken the trade only for ACC I had taken. So long term clear BSC may Jana chahiye. Nothing like that. ACC yesterday bilkul opposite form kar raha tha. See the reason if this would have given us a breakout Bata India ka bhi aap dekh lo. Market has expected ho sakta hai ki agar kuch nahi news aya to market same situation if you will see market was in the range till 12 o'clock then it gave us a breakout towards downside. It may happen ki it will go in range for some more time and then it can give you a breakout. So you should uh, bank nifty flying so abhi ye sab unnecessary risk lene ki zarurat nahi hai when uh, we have already booked around uh, dekha jaye to 1% or 2% of the total capital you would have booked uh, in both the stocks around 12 points 12 points we have booked in both the stocks so it is going to come up around 24 points we have booked up i had taken only 800 i booked around 
सेवन टू एट क्वान्टिटी टेन रुपीज पर लॉट सॉरी पर क्वान्टिटी कैन यू ट्राई पेपर जे या यू कैन वॉच द मार्केट सी This is the wonderful opportunity for those people who have got the experience of market to take up the trade. If you have the confidence to take it up, but if you do not have the confidence, I won't really suggest you to unnecessarily risk your money. That is completely if you are risking your money unnecessarily, just because in order to get the profit, if you want to enjoy the market, go with one quantity. Those who have been trading with ten, twenty quantity, go with one quantity and enjoy. enjoy. If we have good predict uh, analysis that market is going to fall, market is going to go somewhere upside or downside, then go accordingly. Then go for the trade, take it up. Okay, so that's all from my end, guys. Chalo, I hope you learned something that key why risk management and how to trade in all these days. Okay, and that's all from my guys. I won't be taking any other trades and any other thing. Sure. Bye.